Hey, New Hope, this is Pastor Brian. I hope you're having a really good day. I just wanted to bring you a quick word and a challenge. Right now, my family and I, we are in the midst of cross-country season for our oldest son. This is a 3.2 mile race outdoors. It's hilly and it's tough. And no matter if the runner is first or last, it is a tough race for every runner. So this past Saturday, at one of the races, this is the final race of the day, most of the spectators and the competitors had gone home or they had headed back to their team camp to pack up. But this race wasn't done. The final race still had one runner left. And as this runner approached the final 50 yards of finishing this race of 3.2 miles, those of us who were there, we began to clap and to cheer for this final runner. No one else was competing at that point except for this final person. And um, it was so exciting to see them finish. And though they were exhausted and the first place runner had been done long before them, uh, what to me stood out was the fact that they finished. You see, this runner had a goal in mind to finish the race. And yes, they wanted to have a good time and even compete to win, but the fact that they finished was very impressive to me. In fact, they get my respect just as much as the first place runner does because they finished. No matter how difficult, no matter how tough it was, they finished the race. And I want us to think about what Paul wrote to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Here's what Paul said. I want to read it to you. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. So Paul, when he's writing this, he's writing to Timothy and he's nearing the end of his life and he's reflecting back on a hard-fought life, a life, one that, that wasn't easy at all times, but one that he had finished, one that he left it on the line, and he kept the faith. Think about that, he kept the faith, and he finished. That's the, that's the, the key today, is that he finished. Uh, there are a lot of great starters in the Christian faith, but there isn't always the greatest finishers. How many of us can say that we have finished, or we're going to finish this race? See, Paul had this goal uh, of heaven, and standing before Jesus face to face. That was what motivated him, what drove him also to preach the good news. And I wanna ask you today, is that your goal? Heaven, is that your goal? When life seems difficult, when your faith seems to be rattled and shaken, I wanna encourage you today, New Hope, to not quit. Keep your faith, remain true to the Lord, with all of your heart, no matter how difficult it gets. Do not quit, do not give up. Keep the end goal in mind, that end goal being heaven. And so I wanna read 2 Corinthians 4, 16 to 18 to you today before we pray. It says this, therefore we do not lose heart, but though our outer man is decaying, yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. For momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory, far beyond all comparison. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So new hope today, keep the faith, finish this course, finish this race. You don't have to be first but finish, keep your faith strong and remain true to the Lord with all of your heart. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love for us that is constant and always there. And I pray that you would encourage your people today to remain true to you. You would encourage them to keep the faith, to finish this course, no matter how difficult things may be right now, that you would remind them that you are faithful and that you are with them and that you have a plan and a purpose for all of this. God, we love you and we thank you. In your powerful name we pray, amen. Amen. New Hope, have a really good day today. We look forward to seeing you all on Sunday.